Hello, I'm Heston Blumenthal, and I'm here to talk about my new book, Historic Heston. Basically, the idea from this book is as a result of probably 12 years of research into historic British cooking. And I discovered that we have um, a heritage of, of cooking and food that was at one point the envy of Europe. And for many reasons, it then kind of collapsed. So this book is about a celebration of British gastronomy, historical gastronomy, and also my interpretation of some old dishes, ranging as far back as 1300. So what we did was take one recipe, the original recipe, and then cook that original recipe, okay. taste it, have a discussion about it, and then look at a way to then take some inspiration for that to create the modern dish. So really it was my journey from an old recipe to, to creating this new dish. And, and the gap between the old and new really makes the story. The book explains what was happening historically at the time, and in particular what was happening historically regarding food at the time, and then it moves into the story of the development into the new dish. It starts off with a beautiful photograph, absolutely incredible, done in the style of Caravaggio, so there's lots of light and dark and beautiful sets, and everything in the set was available at that time. Um, and then we go through some incredible illustrations by a guy called Dave McKean who did the Fat Duck uh, book illustrations, again reflecting either some of our development work or historical information. And then it finishes off with a thoroughly modern photograph of the new dish. Some of these dishes can be made at home, but this is not a home cookbook. This is about historical British cooking and about my inspiration for some of the dishes that served, some of them in the hind's head, some of them in the fat duck, obviously more of them in dinner. For me, what I wanted the feeling of if you were in a shop and you took the book off the shelf and you flicked and it fell open on one of Dave's illustrations or one of the incredible photography or just a page of the text, there's so much anecdotal stuff in there which is really exciting, you, you just wouldn't be able to put it down.